Hi Libra, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for a tarot reading for all Libra. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Thanks to everybody for all the continuous support. I've been reading tarot cards for a long time, about 33 years, and it's just an absolute joy to my heart to get to read them for you. So we'll continue to do it here. And if you're new, welcome. I post new readings on Friday, then again on Monday. So if a reading doesn't fit, just come back in a couple of days and watch a new reading. Friday's readings are always a general reading. So today's reading will bring in aspects of money, love, career, and everything in between. Mondays are different every week. You're just going to have to come back to see what that's about. And if you like tarot and you like the channel, I'd love to invite you to subscribe to Higher Source Tarot. All right, what advice do you have for Libra? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. What does Libra need to know, please, for the best and highest good of all concerned with Libra? Messages for Libra, please. We will start here with the tarot, then we'll have the angel answers. We have the star, the empress, so interesting, I like that. The three of swords, the queen of cups, the chariot, very solid, the five of cups, the ace of pentacles, and uh, temperance. So this is a lot of major arcana here. Four major arcana when we only have eight cards is very significant. So you have the Archangel Michael, you have the Goddess of Truth, you have the Path to the Heart, and so we've got, let's see, Sagittarius, Aquarius, Cancer, we've got Earth, we've got Water, and we have Air. Um, and I also like it too that you have a, a Queen, Master, one of the Masters of the Suit, and an Ace, a new beginning. So for somebody here, it's time to let go of something with the Three of Swords, Five of Cups, no doubt about it, because you're going to be flourishing. There's no point in trying to hold on to what was or even hoping for a better past. You've got new beginnings coming in and they're new beginnings that are definitely going to move forward. I mean, this is wish fulfillment and we could really bring in half the cards. Why don't we? We don't see this very often in, in an eight card reading to have all of this absolutely lovely energy coming in. So with this, you definitely have answers coming in. Whatever it is that you've asked for, you've got a turning point here. You've been in a difficult period. I would say it's not going to last. Some of you, there's a move coming in, by the way. So if it's something in terms of a new job or an actual move, I get that. Um, but you've got great aspects here for love, too. So with the energy of the star, the next seven, eight weeks may be important for somebody here. But I also get February as well, okay? So as you get through this month, and I don't mean it like get through it. We're not talking about trudging along. We're saying happy, joyous, free. Um, but as you get through, go through this into this new cycle here, you're going to have great companionship. You've got an energy. You have an influential energy over others. So if you have an interview coming up, you're going to knock their socks off. In terms of meeting somebody, if you're not in a relationship, because there's definitely love here, I'm going to say that's not going to stay for long. February would be a great time. Or spring. Okay, February, all the way through spring to meet somebody. Um, but with this, it is true love. And with this also, there's a revelation here. There's insight. And like I said, this inner this inner knowing or influence over others, it's very much, you have it here too, this sort of go with the flow type of energy. But when we see unclothed characters in the deck, it's total acceptance. But it's also to being who you are, showing up as you are and having people around you just love it. There's nothing to change here. So with the star energy, again, that wish fulfillment is important if you're moving or going to a new job too, that I do feel like it's exactly what you asked for. You're in the right place at the right time. You show up, you exude this energy, and they can't get enough of it. So with the Empress, this is a great time. It may be a very busy time too, by the way, with this card. Um, you have a little bit of it like this sort of tempering this too, okay, because with this, this can be a rather overindulgent energy. So I would say, too, with the Queen of Cups here, be a little bit cautious about overextending yourself during this period because the Empress tends to be a time where you have lots of different interests picking up. You're going in a lot of different directions. And if she was here 
with different cards, I would not say that, but with some of the cards that are around her, that can start to get very, you can get to the point where you go, okay, let's hit the brakes, but I'm just telling you. So with this, so you got uh, opportunity abounding. She's a multiplier of forms and ideas. She is, like I said, the path to the heart. You're gonna be very creative. If you do anything with any kind of an artistic, even if it's like, I mean, like graphic design, anything in a job where you have some kind of an artistic influence or decisions that have anything to do with design, I feel like you're going to be right on. Or if it's something to do with the house, you'll select things that you'll be very happy with, with this energy. But she lives in luxury. So there's no lack here. There's no shortage. It's new opportunities coming in. And of course, she is the mother of the tarot. So again, she's perpetually pregnant. Now in a love relationship, there's a lot of passion here. There's love, um, but it's definitely, a, there's like a protective energy. So if you've had your heart trampled by somebody, I don't see that continuing, but I do feel like it's somebody new coming in. Those of you that have been through a challenging period, a challenging breakup. And with this, I do feel like, especially these two together, this is somebody who really wants to protect the relationship, who has great boundaries around the relationship. So there's no confusion and there's no, you know, sometimes we get into things that seem a bit iffy, right? And so it's not so much confusion as intuition that something's not quite right, not here. Okay, there's nothing like that showing up here. So with the um, Three of Swords, Threes are actually about synthesis. With the Empress, we love it, or the Three of Cups. With this one, though, it's saying don't resist the change. And it's all about acceptance. And especially, too, with the Star, accepting change accepting what was for what it is rather than trying to architect it as something else just sort of being done with it so if there was something disappointing it feels more relationship related or even too if it was a house or a job that you didn't get it it wasn't for you there's something better coming in here so with this we allow it to be so we allow it to we let go of it i see somebody practicing meditation it looks like a gut some kind of a guided meditation good for you if you say, I have trouble meditating, quieting the mind, start with that. That will be a great opener. So with the Queen of Cups, she too has a tendency to do for others. So like we were talking about, be careful about overextending yourself. No is a complete answer if it's necessary. But with this too, in terms of love, you're a great partner. You know, this is, you. you even though this is not your um, you know, element. Okay. I understand this is not your element, but I do feel like it's representative of the partnership that you're bringing in total transparency, total trust, and really grounded on love. And so with this too, they're also trying to tell you, trust your intuition. If you're getting the high priestess a lot in readings too, that's even doubly so saying, trust your intuition, allow your intuition to be your guide. And again, don't get in the muck. If there's something that hasn't gone quite right, let's not let that multiply. I had a situation like that not too long ago, a flight was changed and then I got some other information I didn't like and it, it just, it all, you know, it, it all kept coming in. I thought it's me, I have to change. But with the um, energy of the chariot, there's no worrying about changing here. This is law of attraction energy and it's solid. This is success. It's also a time when, especially if you're changing jobs, this is really a great time to do that. It's meeting somebody important too, though, in your life in a very mature energy. So those of you that are falling in love or if you're saying I'd like to, it's coming right at you. So it's definitely like we were talking about somebody who's very mature. They may be very worldly too, like a world traveler or have a lot of, have a list of places. They have some idea. This is a person with focus and drive. This is somebody who actually has a, a 10 year long range plan. Okay. They've got ideas of where do I want to be? And honestly, I would say it's even farther than that. You know, they've got a plan for their life mapped out and they're going for it. So that this too, in terms of a job or moving, it's telling you take that leap of faith. You can't lose. Okay. When the chariot's driving, so with the five and uh, fives are changed, like we were talking to, it's certainly related to that three of swords. There's been an ending. And again, we say this as we stop admiring the problem because the solution is right there. All right, these two upright cups, there's a new beginning. There's a new partnership. It's time to turn around and then go uh, that bridge that crosses home. Okay, so with the, um, with the ace of pentacles, we know this is a new chapter. 
It's a new resource coming in though too. So it's oftentimes in the more material field. So when we talk about housing or a job, a new offer, and if it is something where you're not actually changing jobs, it also could be somebody new who gets hired who is going to alleviate a lot of burdensome energy for you. In terms of love or money, though, it's a long-lasting success. This is a new chapter, an abundant time that continues to grow. Anybody that you meet in this energy, too, is going to be a long-lasting connection. It's somebody who is going to be around and in your life for a long, long time. So we love this Archangel Michael. Again, we've got a sunrise here, and that path in the backdrop says that life is not always a, a linear path as much as we would like it to be. You've had some twists and turns here recently. And so they're saying you're on the right path though, but this is also a card of spirituality. Both of these feature this pool of consciousness. He, Michael sticks his toe in, whereas the star leans on the pool for balance. And so it's all about coming from your source, seeing things as the, through the eyes of source. This is also about being very easygoing in energy. So if something didn't happen the way you thought it would, being able to let that go, let it flow, and get your mind set on a new target, okay? Getting getting your energy clear so that we're not attracting things that we don't want here. Um, but the temperance card, too, can be a reminder, like we were saying, about moderation on some things, especially with the empress being here. That can be a tendency, whether it's overextending, but it also can be overeating and drinking too much. So be careful of the celebrations because they're coming. So let's see what else Libra needs to know. Messages for Libra, please. <clears throat> recovery, mind, body, spirit, recovery. So again, this is great with the three of swords, five of cups energy. We have here, if you believe, so ask, believe, receive, know. Know that the universe is communicating with you. Ask your angels. Ask and they'll show you. They will They will give you those intuitive hits in the near future, they say. And we've got a yes, but it's that emphatic yes. You create your own reality so you can have, do, or be anything, Libra. I love you and I'll be back again soon.